action. But you can totally laugh at me if I fall on my face. Uh, All right, voices are off. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Action. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take your paper and make it vertical, straight up and down. And then I want you to make a big square on your page and then divide that up into four equal spaces. Mine's in red so that you can see it. We're going to erase out these guidelines later, so make sure that you make it light. Then write your first and last name, the lower right-hand corner. In the lower right-hand corner and your hour. Okay, then I want you to take your pencil and you're going to make a circle. In this circle, in this space here, you're going to have it touch all four points here. Now before you start, I want you to kind of lightly put your pinky down so that you've got that sort of resting there. And then you're going to draw from your shoulder. So you're not going to move your wrist or your elbow. I want you to move from your shoulder and lightly go around that circle till you and don't touch the page yet and then lightly sketch in that circle okay draw your circle all right now the next step is we're going to draw a house on its side I want you to draw a point right here which is less than halfway up this vertical line here. So from here to here, it's about a quarter of the way. Then draw a point right about here. If this were center, it's a little bit it's off center. Then draw a point here, which is about halfway, and then a couple fingers over. Then draw halfway on this line here, draw a dot. And then about, oh, right about here, and draw another dot. So those four points, five points. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now I'm going to draw a house on its side. So I'm going to make a diagonal line here. I'm going to make a diagonal line here connecting those two points. I could have made it a little bit more diagonal. I want these two to be parallel. So the way to get my parallel line, I'm going to hold my pencil up. And then I'm going to move it down to see if I got that parallel. Then I'm going to connect the top of the house like a so. So now it looks like we've got a man or a face, a head with like a visor on. Okay. Your next step is you're going to make two circles for the eyes. The first eye is going to be right about here. So notice that it's touching this corner right here. It's not touching right in the cross section, not in this perpen not in this uh, perpendicular. Yep, not this cross section here. Just covering right, making a triangle right there. So we got a circle right about there and then a circle right about here. So there's negative space below this eye. Then we're going to make an oval that touches this line and this line. There and there. Okay, our next stop, our next section here, in the lower left hand quarter, you're going to make a circle right here. And I want you to feel where this point is. It's right, right here, right here. Can you see this? Can you see me? Yeah. So open your mouth and close your mouth and go, ah. Oh. Okay. All right. Our next step is we're going to do a funny shape down here. Alright. You guys being really patient, I appreciate it. I actually haven't quite had enough coffee yet. I'm gonna have to edit that part out. Because <laughs> I'm not really awake. I'm like, okay, what am I doing next? <coughs> okay, I'm back. Alright, so now we're gonna make this eye. We're gonna make this eye and the nose overlap. Now I want you to notice that this eye, this is actually a little bit too low here. In between these two eyes, you're going to put a curved line right here. This line is convex. Convex. Convex means that 
it's curving down. Concave means it's curving in, inward. So concave, it would be like you're falling into a cave, and convex is up like this. So in between the eyes, make a curved convex line right here. Then I'm going to lower the nose a little bit because now I need to make a concave and diagonal. It's not extremely concave, it's just a little bit concave and diagonal. I'm going to make that line go down here, and then I'm going to connect the nose to that. Go ahead and make your convex line here and your concave line there. Now always double check yourself as you're working on your piece. Make sure that you're double checking that you've got those lines convex, concave, that you got your proportion correct. Now I want you to erase out the line in between or inside the nose right here. Just erase that line out and right here so we can see where that nose is going to go parallel. Go ahead and do that now. And now we're going to make the eye come out. So for the eye, I want you to feel, again, hi. <laughs> All right, right here, put your fingers on your eye. Right here, I want you to feel how it pokes out a little bit right here. And then it comes in right about here. It comes in, and then your cheekbone points, pokes out again here. And then I want you to feel underneath your cheekbone there. Can you see me okay? Can you see me okay? Can you see me? All right, so now we're going to make this go out. So around this eye socket here, we're going to go outside the circle a little bit. So I'm going to make a concave curve right there. I'm going to bring it out around this eye socket. And then where the, eye, or the circle and that oval for the eye meet, that's about where it's going to come in. It's going to swoop back out here and then curve in right there. So I'm going to go over that with marker now. Convex, this is curved outside the original circle, comes back to the original circle, and then comes in. Now this, this curve here, you can make it more geometric or more organic. On the skull, on the actual skull, it's a little bit more geometric. All right, now we're going to define that eye socket and the nose a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to go over this a darker line, convex, concave, and now I'm going to bring this line down at a diagonal. So this is where the nose cavity is going to be. Go ahead and make sure you got your convex, slightly concave and diagonal, and then a diagonal line here going to about that line there. Double check your work, make sure you've got that. Okay, then the eye socket, we're going to bring it behind this nose and we drew them as circles. They're actually going to be a little bit more organic than what we drew them as. So you can make those a little bit more organic. Remember that if you make the eyes come up in the center and down on the outside, he's going to look more surprised. If you make it go this way, up on the outside and down in the center, it's going to make you more angry. And this is going to come and play when you make your skulls out of clay. You can be very expressive. Okay, and then this eye, this eye is going to be slightly bigger than the other eye because it's foreshortened, not much, just a little bit. And you can make that a little bit more organic than we started with. Okay, make sure you've got your eyes in the correct position. All of this in the upper right hand quadrant. All right, now the nose. Super focus up, one, two, three. The nose. The nose is more of a triangle. So before we draw, I want you to look first this little piece right here, this is cartilage underneath the nose. All eyes are on the screen. So you're going to make a, a light diagonal line there that are parallel right about here. And the bottom of the nose, watch first and then you're going to draw it. The bottom of the nose is wider. It's going to come out. And I want you to make sure that this line here that's parallel to it does not touch it. That's showing that little bitty skinny piece of bone right there. So now I'm going to draw my, looks like a candy corn. It's going to be wider at the bottom than it is at the top and then it has these two diagonal lines going through like that. Go ahead and draw that now.
We're all going to have slightly different proportions, but it's the basic concept. So make sure you got your candy corn nose, and then you've got two parallel diagonal lines right here, and that's what holds the cartilage on to your face. It attaches to this little piece right here. All right, super focus on the screen, one, two, three. Now the top of your cranium, it's going to go a little bit higher than we have here. So I'm going to bring this convex here, I'm sorry, concave, concave. I'm going to bring that up out of the circle a little bit and down. Now I also want you to feel, feel the front of your forehead and then feel the back of your head. Do that now. Feel the front and then feel the back of your head. The back of your head is wider. So back here, you're going to make this right about here. It kind of flattens out a little bit and then it has a little bit more of a, it's a little wider on that side. So outside the circle, just a little bit, this is going to come up a little higher than the original circle. And then it kind of flattens. Notice this is the original line here. I'm going outside the original line just a little bit. All right, now on the side of your head, go ahead and draw this line here if you haven't done so already. All right, the side of your head, I want you to feel right here. Feel this spot right here. This is your temple. Your temple is going to look a little bit like a mustache on its side. Now, I want you to look at the proportion of that. It's slightly above this eye and slightly below that eye. And it's going to be darker because it's going in. We're going to shade this in darker later. Because we want this to, to really pop out here and we want this cheekbone to pop out. So, on the side, you want to leave a, a negative space about a finger width between the eye and this sideways mustache. You're going to curve it this way. And then it's going to come below this line here with a long, wide curve there. So it's like a mustache, an asymmetrical mustache. It's longer on this side than it is at the top. Go ahead and draw on your asymmetrical mustache. All right. Next, if you feel above your eyes, you'll feel there's a little ridge. Right about, put your fingers on your eyebrows and feel where that, there's a little ridge. Now this is going to look a little bit like eyebrows on our skulls, but obviously it's not. Put a little line in here. Notice the negative space between the edge of it. These could also be expressive. You can play around with these, be more diagonal showing a frown if they're going down in the bottom or fright if they're higher in the middle. And then there's another curve right about here. Go ahead and draw in those lines above the eye. And then below just one of the eyes, we've got some shading from this perspective right below this halfway mark. Now we're in the lower right hand quadrant. There's a diagonal curve line. It's parallel to this bottom of this circle here. It's not very big. It's just a slight line right there. <coughs> All right, now we've got a lot of stuff going on down here in the lower right-hand quadrant. So I want you always double-checking your work. Let's look at the jaw. The jaw is going to come down to more about here and it needs to come out where the mouth is. So this is about where the mouth is going to be in here. And so you want to come down, curve out, and then bow this out here. This is where your mouth is. So right here. Right here. Yep, it's bigger there. Then we're going to come inside the circle. So it bows out outside the circle, inside the circle, and then there's an S curve right here. It's a backwards S, but it's an S curve right there, and it's elongated. Go ahead and draw that line. This is where the mouth is going to be. 
Then on the lower right hand corner in the, in the quadrant, draw a light diagonal line there. That's the bottom of your chin. If you want it to look like a butt chin, you can make it curve up like that. That just means that that bone right there has a negative space inside of it. You don't have to make it a butt chin if you don't want. All right, this is the edge, the very back of your jaw. So we're going to make a diagonal line, and it's going to go from this circle to about this point right here. But it's going to be a little bit curved, that S curve. This is an S, a backwards S curve. This is an elongated, stretched out S curve. Make an S curve right through there. I might have exaggerated that a little bit too much. And then you're going to connect to your butt chin down here. Or your chin, whatever kind of chin you have. Okay, go ahead and complete your jaw. Make sure it comes out where your mouth is. Where you're above your chin and below your mouth, it comes in. Put your fingers in that spot right there. Below your mouth and above your chin right here. It needs to come in right there. That's that point there. And then it comes out again for the chin. All right, go ahead and complete that part. All right, now we have a funny, weird little shape that goes right here. I'm going to draw it here first. It looks like this. It's an L with a box on the bottom and then two backwards J's, a small backwards J and a large backwards J, and then you connect those lines. That's going to go right down in here. Now it's not touching this line here, it's right about in here. And I think I made this line actually a little too low, I think this <laughs> line, or a little too high. That line should have been higher. So even though I'm giving you the lesson right now, I'm still using my eraser. Alright, so go ahead and put a light circle in this quadrant, so if this is halfway here, you can, if you need to break it up again, you absolutely can. I'm going to go ahead and break it up so you can see it. And if you're double checking your work, you can always draw those lines on lightly to make sure that you have it correct. Alright, so this lower, we're going to talk about these quadrants here as, as quadrants in themselves. So on the left hand side of these four quadrants here, this oval is mostly in the lower left hand quadrant, but also a little bit above that quadrant. So that's where I'm going to put that shape. So I'm going to start with that big box, and notice how big it is compared to this quadrant. Then I'm going to make an L shape, a backwards J, a larger backwards J, and then connect the two. Go ahead and double check your work and complete that shape right there. Remember it's an L a box, a long box, and I want you to really look at how much negative space is around that box. A backwards J and a larger backwards J and then an organic line kind of connecting it. Mine's a little bit geometric there, yours could be a little bit more organic. Alright, super focus up, one, two, three, alright, double check, triple check. I want you to see these are the four, uh, these are the points that you're going to take your teeth off of. So this is the, and it's going to be slightly curved. So the bottom one, the bottom set of teeth come off there. This, I should raise this a little bit. The second row of teeth, or actually this would be the middle. I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm right in this area right here. This is really important that this area right here is where my teeth go to. I'm going to make it curved and parallel with the first line. The third line comes off at this point right here. Curved and parallel there. Go ahead and darken those lines in. Alright, you guys should be double checking your work as we're going. Double, triple checking your work. Checking, checking, checking. You guys doing okay? I need a sharpie. I need a sharpie that works. Ooh. You work? Oh, you work. Hello again. All 
Alright, now let's define this cheekbone right here. We're going to define that cheekbone. So now, you've got this circle here, you've got this shape here, that's already defining where that starts. weird shape. What do we decide that looked like? Is that still on the board? Like a what? I don't know how to describe that. Alright, on the side here now, hold yours up for me please. Alright, so from this point here to here, you're going to make sort of a curved curve line like that. Looks a little bit like a boomerang. And it's concave. Then you're going to make a curve line that comes off of that. It comes up a little bit, so it's a little bit convex. Back down to this line. And then it curves down, but does not touch the teeth. Go ahead and draw that line. We are almost ready to shade these suckers in. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to shade this in dark here and here. So anywhere that you see it shaded in dark, it's going to make it look like it recedes. All right. And then the last step. This little finger's here. Go to J.A. Little Finger. You know what, I'll come check on him in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Alright, and then, so we have our teeth, we have everything else lined up. Lower left hand quadrant. Eyes are up. We're going to bring this skull out a little bit here. It's going to curve a little convex line there. And then this rounds out through there, so that all of this is negative space through here. All right, now I want you to double check and triple check your work. Not everyone's is going to be the same. That's okay. I guarantee some of these that I've drawn, are some are better than others. The more you draw, the better you get at it. All right, our very last step, we're going to give this guy some teeth. So, super focus up, one, two, three. Everybody, every time. All right, so now we need to make some vertical lines and some convex and concave. All eyes are on the screen, no exception. Eyes are up. So I want, I'm not going to count the teeth. I'm not going to make you count how many teeth are in your mouth and make it exactly perfect. But you need to try to make it as realistic as possible. So the teeth are going to be a slight angle here and one above the other. So you're going to lightly, very lightly, you're going to map these out. And then the top row of teeth are going to be con vex. You're going to make a convex line at the top of each tooth at the top. Repeat after me, convex. 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 Okay, the bottom of the teeth is con concave. Repeat after me, concave. 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 All right, make your teeth concave at the bottom. And that is how you draw a skull. Applause? Oh, really, you don't need to applaud. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. All right, do it.